the Too Faced Semi Sweet Chocolate. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's that time again, you know, monthly favorites time. Uh, <laughs> and I'm a little late, but better late than never, as they say, right? So I really didn't want to skip March beauty favorites just because I haven't done a favorites video in so long. And I have so many products to show you that I've just been loving and obsessed with. So, I mean, it took me a while to kind of figure out what I was going to include because I hadn't, like, a, a ton. So, I want to show you guys. So, get back on track with monthly favorites videos. Get back into the swing of things. So, you know what? It's a lot of products, so let's just get right into it. So, first up is this shampoo from Pura Dor. I don't know how to say it. I'm butchering it. But <laughs> this is their hair loss prevention therapy shampoo. And I love this stuff. I got it a couple months ago. They did send it to me to test out. And this is empty. I went through the conditioner as well. But I really loved it, so I wanted to mention it to you guys. It has no sulfates, no SLS, no parabens. It's gluten-free. It has biotin in it. It has argan oil and antioxidants, so your hair feels a lot shinier and healthier, which I love. So I did see a difference in it. I am someone that suffers from hair loss. I, when I'm stressed, I lose a lot of hair. Sometimes I wonder how I even have hair left over, but I, I do. So I did see a decrease in that, and it also helps with my scalp being not so dry. So I do have, I am someone that suffers from dandruff as well, unfortunately. So I do have to use certain shampoos that help with that because sometimes my hair just gets really itchy. And I know that might be TMI for a lot of people, but hey, it's the reality of the situation. So if you're someone that is looking for a new shampoo or something like that, then I would definitely recommend this. This is the Shea Moisture Super Fruit Body Lotion with Mango Butter and Green Coffee Bean Extract. Oh my God. You just, I wish you could smell this. And I know I say that all the time, but I love this stuff. It smells so good. And it might be because I love mango. Like, I'm obsessed with mango. But this was just so delicious. And let me, let me tell you guys, this makes your skin feel like a baby's bottom. It is so thick and creamy. It just like, the moisture from it, just like, your skin absorbs it. It just... Oh, it feels so good. This, I was using it during the winter. Again, this is another empty that I have to repurchase. And this was just amazing in the winter. It kept my skin very like subtle and plump and hydrated. And it was just amazing. I haven't had a winter like that where I felt like my skin felt that way until I had this guy. So if you're someone that suffers from dry skin, this is a godsend. This is the Elizabeth Arden 8 Hour Skin Protecting Cream. And... <laughs> This is also something that I'm out of. I told you guys, like, I... Okay. I told you guys, I went through a lot of products, and since I haven't done a favorites video in so long, it's, just, it's a lot of stuff going on. So a lot of the stuff are empty. This, I'm, like, trying to squeeze some of it out. But this has, like, a gel-like consistency. Um, it's very thick, very moisturizing. I don't know if you can see it. So I love wearing this, again, in the winter, like when I have really dry patches, whether it's like I get really dry under my arms for some reason or my elbows, I lather up in this before I go to bed and when I wake up, I have no more dry skin. Like it just, again, something that locks in the moisture. I love this stuff. Next up is another skincare related product. This is the Altura, Altura, again, I'm really bad at pronouncing stuff. This is a moisturizer and I love this stuff. It has 95% all organic natural ingredients like beeswax, extra virgin olive oil, primrose, primrose oil, um, cocoa butter, like everything that you your skin could possibly want, this has it in it. And I, it intrigues me because of the beeswax part and a lot of like the venom from the bees and like the beeswax is really good for your skin. It is very light and thin, which I love. So I use this as my day moisturizer and it just leaves my skin so moisturized but plump. It smells really nice. It just smells like very natural, organic-y, but not too much. Not like those nasty smells. <laughs> Before I move on to makeup products, I just wanted to give a little shout out to this guy because it is my new favorite perfume. I got this when I went to the We All Grow Summit. This is from Narciso Rodriguez and guys, I can't even, I can't even tell you. 
it really smells like you're walking into like a, a rose garden with like a little bit of musk in it and this wears so nicely it just gets softer and more subtle throughout the day and I love that because it goes from day to night and you still smell amazing all right let's get into the fun stuff this is an oldie but a goodie this is a Too Faced semi-sweet chocolate bar palette and I have just been reaching for this so much lately I actually used it on my eyes today and I have this makeup tutorial coming up so don't worry but I just love this it has a lot of warm neutral shades it's great from creating daytime looks to nighttime looks it smells like chocolate which is delicious my favorites are peanut butter bon bon frosting and truffled and I also love butter pecan for going into the inner corner as a highlight it just it makes your eyes pop I love it I love these because they're super creamy and they're very blendable I hate eyeshadows where you have to spend a lot of time going back and forth and blending it out I don't have time for that so when I find an eyeshadow that's very blendable creamy and still looks really good I'm in as for primers, these have been my holy grail. These are the Makeup Forever Step 1 Equalizers. I really hardly not use a primer. So these have been my go-to. When I find one that I love, I stick to it because it's very difficult for me to find one that does exactly what I want. And these do that. My skin sometimes gets really dry through the winter. This was like my favorite primer because it really just keeps my skin hydrated and it really allows my foundation to go on really smoothly. And this one really kind of minimizes the appearance of my pores, which I do have bigger pores in this area. So this is perfect for that. Sometimes I'll mix both of them together. I'll do the hydrating one around the perimeter of my face and I'll just go in with a smoothing one in the areas that I need it. These are just holy grail. Definitely, definitely try these out. You need them. Especially if you suffer from dry skin, this will be a best friend. Next is a drugstore find and this is been raised about with good reason this is the l'oreal infallible pro matte foundation it is an amazing like hands down my favorite favorite drugstore foundation of all time like no joke it has a demi matte finish and i'm someone that even though i suffer from sometimes dry skin i love a matte look i apply two layers of this with the beauty blender and it just leaves me like airbrush flawless skin anytime i wear that if I post a selfie on Instagram or something, whatever the case is, someone is DMing me, asking me what foundation I'm using. And 90% of the time, it's this. As for makeup brushes, I'm not someone that likes dual ended makeup brushes. For me, they're really hard to store. But this is such a great dual ended makeup brush, and I didn't realize it until I went to California in March. So this is from It Cosmetics. This is the. This is the softest makeup brush that I probably own. I love it. This is for concealer and this is for all over your face. It pretty much takes the place of like four makeup brushes when you travel. This end I'll use for bronzer or blush just to kind of blend anything in on my face. This side for the concealer side I'll use to blend in the concealer under my eyebrows. I'll use it to blend my eyeshadow. I'll even use it for concealer under my eye. So it's such a multi-purpose brush. It is amazing like seriously I cannot cannot and will not travel with this brush so I'm not going to go into too much detail about the next product this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow definer because I just posted my eyebrow tutorial so I will leave that link down below and then you can hear all the good thoughts about it but I really love this if you're someone that is looking for something to make your brow to fill in your brows more natural like and very quickly I highly recommend this this is literally changed the way I do my brows definitely a staple holy grail item for me I have two bronzers that I want to share with you guys the first one is from the bomb and this is Bahama Mama this is a great bronzer it's more on the cool shade which I do like especially you can use it to contour with or when since I'm a little bit more on the lighter side right now it's like great to bronze up my face without looking too muddy it's a really good in-between bronzer and it just it feels really nice as you can see it is really blendable. The next bronzer is the Amazonian Clay Bronzer from Tarte, and this is in the shade Park at Princess, and this is more for a summer bronzer. I hit pan on it, and this is, it has a more of a reddish undertone to it, 
So I really like having a tan when I use this bronzer. If you're someone that is more of a medium or darker complexion, this could work great as a blush if you're a little bit darker, or if you're a little bit more on the olive side, it's just really give you that bronzy, glowy look that I love. So I love using this when I have a tan. And it does have a little bit of shimmer in it, so it just really gives that like lit from within glow. Another reason why I love using this up during the summer. So I've been into a lot of liquid lipsticks and not really glosses, more of that matte lip, but I did want to share one of like an oldie but a really goodie. It's basically empty. I actually need another one. This is from MAC and it is in the shade Wildly Lush. And it is the most beautiful nude lip gloss. Like this is, I've had this for so long, which is probably a little bit disturbing how long I've had it, but it is just so beautiful. It's that pure gloss, you know, I love that because I feel like glosses now are so pigmented and you know, you sometimes you just want something to put over your lipstick and have a glossy lip and I absolutely love this. Next up we have my two favorite, favorite liquid lipsticks. This is from Joseph Colors. This is Truffle and this is in stone and by far this is one of my favorite formulas for liquid lipsticks like I'm obsessed with these. Truffle is more, I actually have it on my lips now, it is more on the brown nude side. Not really, it's like more brownish. And then stone is more of that like rosy, that rosy mauve -y pink. So both are really nice, they're right here. This is a gloss, and then this is truffle, and then you have stone. They apply so nice on the lips, they're very comfortable, they last long, and they're not drying to me. Then a shade that I was very surprised by is from ColourPop, and this is in the shade Kapow. And I used it once, and, well I used it a couple times after that. But I tested it out, and this is very more of a bold kind of color. This is has like a purpley, cool tone, gray undertone, and it just looks really bold. And I'm not someone that wears a lot of bold, dark, vampy lips, but I actually really enjoyed this one. So if you're someone that loves that, I highly recommend these. These are $6. ColourPop makes great products. And last but not least is from Kylie Cosmetics. This is Candy K and this is a beautiful pinky nude and I just love the way that it looks, which is right here. And this is a lip liner. I'm going to be doing a lip swatch video of all the lip kits. I'm just waiting for one more to arrive. So hopefully that will arrive soon and I'll be doing a review on them and everything like that. So stay tuned for that make sure you're subscribed. And then this color I was really surprised by, and this is in the shade 22, and this is more like a burnt orange, and I was really surprised. I loved it on me. I've worn it multiple times already. On me, it kind of dries up into more of a burnt orange look, and it just really kind of depends on the undertone of your lip, but it's really pretty. So that's all I have for you guys today. Those are all my beauty favorites from March, but really kind of before that. <laughs> um, so I will be on time for the next one, promise. And let me know any of your favorite, current favorite products. I love clearly testing out new products. So let me know, comment them down below so I could try some of them out. And I hope you guys have a great day and enjoy. And I'll see you in my next one.